Fats Domino, Curtis Mayfield, Tony Orlando, and Don, Roy Orbison, Mr. Jones, Simon, Paul Simon, Jim Croce, Association, Rufus, Stand by to simply call in and win. Fred Figgins, you Mike Fitzgerald, Traffic Now with John Christopher. I'm Roberta Alton. Jeff Leonard, Truck and J.J. Riddle, Rock and Roll Big Baby. WMOD, I can identify with that record working in a car wash. I used to work at Mama Leone's car wash and all-night discotheque down in Southwest. Uh, they went out of business when their squeegee dried up. Paul Simon says he wrote this song for one of his three-year-old nephews because he likes little rhymes. I guess there's a lot of three-year-old in all of us, huh? You say you have a problem, you need some information, or maybe you're lonely, you're depressed, just want to talk. For a good time, call Penny. <laughs> no, I was that doing it. Call Georgetown University Hotline at 337-2646. I was kidding about Penny. Knock, knock. knock. Who's there? Madam, Madam who? But I'm show starting to get out of here. WMOD. <laughs> <laughs> WMOD editorial. Here is General Manager Mike Cohen. Okay, guys, turn on the sirens. Let's get out of here. That's what the mayor did over a week ago when he wanted to beat the traffic after the Dallas Redskins game. He called on a police escort and whipped out of the traffic jams at the end of the game, sirens blazing. When asked where he was going, the reply was he was late for appointments. WMOD feels the mayor abused his privileges a bit and may have fostered more resentment among the local yokels for their government. But come to think of it, if you were the mayor after that game, caught in that tremendous traffic jam that late on a Sunday evening, and maybe you had a nice big Sunday dinner waiting at home and knew you could just turn the lights and sirens on, you could get home before the dinner got cold, would you do it? Huh? Would ya? Address replies to General Manager, WMOD, Washington, D.C. 98.7 WMOD A This is J.J. Randall with an FM 98.7 reminder. Most home fires break out late at night when your family is asleep. Have a night fire escape plan. Know how you would escape from the house if the stairs or the front door were blocked by smoke. And practice the plan together so everyone knows what to do. Learn not to burn. WMOD editorial. Here is General Manager Mike Cohen. The completion of Interstate 66 has pulled off a miracle and has risen from the dead. John Herity, a newly elected member of the Fairfax Board of Supervisors, says his election is a mandate of the people to have the roadway completed. He also feels that Secretary of Transportation William Coleman can be convinced that it needs to be built and the federal government's part can be rekindled. So, folks, here we go again. Another battle over I-66. 
Everyone who opposed it before will fight it, and you'll be hearing another long, boring, drag-out fight over this controversial roadway that none of us may see in our lifetime. Address replies to General Manager, WMOD, Washington, D.C. Radio.